Want to earn a bit of coin? There's plenty of coin in it. I've got this plan. Jesus, it's not as shallow as it looks.
Good day, Henry. Don't you want to do something together again? I can't now. Come back in the evening, will you? Good day to you. What do you need? So you know this Hinnock. Can you tell me something about him? Not much. I confess. Most of the village folk avoid him like the plague. Why is that? No one with a nose likes spending too much time around Tanners. And that Riki keeps bad company. I've never heard a good word said about him. Good health to you. I'm looking for Hinnak, the courier's son. Freaky. Aye, he shows up here sometimes. Why do you ask? I'm trying to find him. Good luck, then. I hear Riki has a hideout in the woods somewhere. Do you know where it is? Aye, I think I was there once. You think? What does that mean? Either you were there or you weren't. Ah, uh, well, once me and Hinnek had a bit of a drink together here and we ran out of ale. Hinnek said he had some stashed away in the woods, so off we went. But do you remember anything about it? The direction or which path you took? Aye, I can tell you exactly. We went from the edge of the camp here along the path down to the creek. A little upstream, there's a fallen tree bridging the water. We went across it to the other side, then we went uphill to a big boulder. You have to listen carefully there. Why? There's a spring nearby. Someone put a kind of little mill wheel on the stream below it. You can hear it going clap, clap, clap all day and night. Uh-huh. Once you find it, you go around the spring and nearby you'll see a clearing. That's where Hinnick's hideout is. It's an old mine gallery, or cave. Do you know what he gets up to in the woods? What do you reckon? Making money. It's no secret he goes poaching. You're speaking as if that's perfectly legal. No, no. That's not allowed. I know. I mean, I think he might be poaching. But maybe he's gathering firewood. No way for me to know, right? Firewood, of course.
Jesus Christ. What am I to do? Not that I can expect any useful advice from you. At least, you have no more cares. Need someone to talk to? Fuck! Don't, don't kill me. I, I can explain. I won't tell anyone. I swear, I've no one to tell anyway. Just please don't kill me. I'm not planning to kill you. You're, you're not one of Runt's men? No. Huh. Then who are you? I come here in the name of Sir Radzik Kabila and Sir Hanish of Leipa. I'm investigating the raid on the Neuhof stud farm. I've got no idea what you're on about. Well, save your breath. If you want any chance to escape the gallows, you'd better come clean, all right? Jesus Christ. This will never be over. So? Fine, then. That Neuhof raid of yours didn't turn out quite as planned, did it? Depends on whose plan you're talking about. We were up to it to grab some loot and bugger off. Only Runt's cutthroats was there to shed blood. What do you mean, Runt's cutthroats? There were two gangs there, mine and Runt's. We was only there to steal, but they wanted to slaughter everyone. But when you realised what they had in mind, you didn't have to go along with it, did you? But we didn't know nothing, even though we were going to Neuhof. They told us to keep watch on the courtyard while they were cutting the horses' throats. Jesus, that fucking vexed me. Their horses was the most valuable thing there. When I spoke up, though, Runt gave me such a bollocking I knew I'd better keep my mouth shut. And when they said we was going to kill anything that moved, then we knew there was no going back. Did you know any of Runt's people? Not a one. They didn't talk to us at all. None of their faces was familiar, either. The only thing I know is they called that huge chief of theirs Runt, and Pius warned us to watch out for him. I don't suppose you know where they got to after the raid? On the way to Neuf, Timmy told me he was at their camp with Pius. I reckon that's where they've gone now. Did Timmy tell you where the camp is? Somewhere in the woods. He didn't say nothing more. Thing is, Timmy's got quite an imagination. But Pius roared at him to shut it, so I reckon there must be something in it. Who got your two gangs together? You must have made contact somehow, right? Pius. He comes to us and says he's got this prime job. We're gonna rob a farm, he says. That was a big deal, because mostly we just did small stuff. A hold up on the road now and then, nothing fancy. When they told us how much we could make on it, well, we just couldn't refuse. So Pius knew them? I suppose, but I don't know where from. We even got paid up front. I should have known from the start it was too good to be true. That gang of yours, what can you tell me about them? Don't know what you want to know. There was four of us. Me, Timmy, Limpy Lubosh, and Pius Pava. Sometimes we'd rob a place or hold up pilgrims. Never nothing fancy. I'm sure you did mischief enough. Who led you? Pius. He was the oldest and he'd mostly find the jobs for us. Plan them and the like. He got us into that fucking mess in Neuhof, too. What about the others? Timmy's strong as an ox, with a brain to match. You got more sense out of a fence post. And Limpy. I've been with him the longest. He's my one and only friend, I suppose. Where did the rest of your gang end up? You saw Limpy, right? Yes, but he's no use to me now. Tell me where I can find Pius or Timmy. I don't know nothing about Pius. He vanished in the woods, and I haven't seen him since. Timmy, I reckon, went back to the mill where he works. Which mill? The windmill a bit north of Neuhof. Tell me exactly how the raid went down. Um, well, we stormed in from the rear. Runt's people started slaughtering the horses. Jesus, that was bleeding horrible. Meanwhile, me and Limpy had a sniff round the stables to see if we could find anything worth pilfering. And in the end, we got lucky. What did you find? Smil, Sir Hanish's groom. 
I don't know why he was up and what he was doing in the stables, but we took advantage of the situation. Limpy grabs him by the throat and I slapped him round to encourage him to tell us where the money was. Then it all fell apart at the seams. Quicker than you'd believe, Runt comes running up and skewers the groom like a pig for roasting. My jaw dropped. I thought the stuff about killing was just tough talk. And it wasn't? No, not in the least. What happened then? I'm gaping at Smill, stuck through and through, and I noticed this boy standing at the other end of the stables. The stupid sods pointing at us, jaw hanging down to his knees, saying, I know you. Run turns to us and hisses, take him down. So me and Lubosh start running, because the lad took to his heels. At the same time, we could hear the noise of the skirmish in the courtyard. We caught up with the boy at the next farmhouse. I knock him to the ground, but he bashes me with some piece of iron so hard my head's ringing like a fucking church bell. Limpy grabs it off him and stands over him, with his bodkin in his hand, and I start praying. In the end, Limpy just gives him a kick and says, Beat it, Ginger. And then Runt shows up at the gate and hollers that we gotta go, so we scarp it. What happened after the raid? We were waiting for that fool, Timmy. Same place as we met them before, so he'd know where we were, right? Stupid fucking idea. But Pius didn't want to leave him behind. Only when Timmy finally turned up, two of Runt's men were dragging him. There was some difference of opinion. You could say that, yeah. They started on us right away that we were traitors. They knew we'd let somebody get away, and now we were going to pay for it. They started trying to surround us, and we knew what was coming. Limpy took his bodkin and let that fucker have it in the belly. Runt. One of the others. Timmy broke free from them and we all took to our heels. Luckily, they were so buggered from the raid, they didn't follow us for long. They just shouted that they'd find us. That's all I need to know. So now what do I do with you? Well... Hey, over here! people. We've got to get out of here. They're too close. We'll never outrun them. Fuck! At least they don't know I'm here. The two of us can take them by surprise. No fucking way. I'm gone. Look here. If you run, they'll catch up with you and kill you. And me too. Together, we stand a better chance. Oh, Jesus Christ. All right, I suppose you're right. Who's that? The answer to my prayers. Just when I wanted to vent my rage on someone. You'll get what's for. <laughs> Is that the best you can do?
Good health to you. Do you know Timmy? He's a big man and, um... A complete numbskull? Aye, he works here. Or he used to, I'm not sure. He vanished a few days ago. As far as I know, no one's seen him since. But try asking his sister, Mirka. She works here too. I'm looking for a colossus by the name of Timmy. I heard he works here. I don't know anyone like that. Listen, someone wants to kill him. I have to warn him. But... but I don't know what you're talking about. I'm here in the service of Sahanish. A ragamuffin like you? Of course you are. Listen and listen well. It'll be better for everybody if you tell me. I'll be happy to know where I can find him. You'll be happy I don't have to get nasty with you and Timmy. I'm sure Timmy will be happy to stay alive. You... you don't want to hurt him? No, like I said, I just want to talk to him. All right. But not here. We'll talk round the back, behind the mill. where you're going. Here I am. So, why all the secrecy? What do you want from Timmy? Can you tell me where to find him? Promise me nothing will happen to him. Why do you care so much? He's my brother. He's not very smart, you see. And he's always getting led astray by his no-good friends. And now there's some right peculiar characters looking for him. Who are they? I don't know. But they look like cutthroats. And they said some strange things, but I didn't tell them anything. That's good. But sooner or later they'll find him anyway. Tell me where he is and I'll take care of him. He's hiding at the Colburn farm, over by Merhoyed. 